Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today covering the battery shortage and we will look into why Tesla is able to achieve better results here because they are already planning ahead of the game so we will look into that. Tesla Energy will be a topic today and we will look at Giga Berlin because we have shocking news from there because actually on Wednesday there was an attack um, against cables that um, bring electricity to the side. So if you want to stay updated guys do consider subscribing to my channel and we will start with Giga Berlin right away now. So there is a site around 500 meters away from this entire area which we are looking at and the cables are um, not underground. They are going overground at that area and there were um, people that are known, not known yet um, that attacked those cables. They tried to cut off the ent entire electricity but they failed because they got uh, kind of like a fire, like a cable fire but they didn't stop the electricity for the entire site here. Furthermore, it was happening as I just mentioned at 2.40 a.m. on Wednesday and now the police and as well the state is investigating what happened here. The good news is even though there was like a cable fire, um, the uh, firemen came and they, they handled it really quickly here and there was no stopping of any kind of building or work happening at the site at night. So again, we have seen some papers going online on the website in the media um, where those anonymous people have been really clapping it themselves for being so great what they did. Um, eventually they failed to achieve and luckily they ch um, failed to achieve um, to get the attack even bigger. So I must honestly say guys please let me know what you think but I find it ridiculous that people now try to attack this project. It is already that far. Um, it has all those kind of permits that they need. But you see there are always haters out there that try to stop something like that. And we know that a lot of people um, living around the area of this site might not, that posit not think that positive of Tesla. But again, it doesn't um, give you the right to do such things. Then we look at the tweet here. Yes, Vision is extremely inform information rich. Eight times around 1.2 MP. So we are looking here at great news as well coming from Andre. Because it's really important as I mentioned yesterday on my video. He is supporting this entire timeline. He's supporting Pure Vision here as Elon Musk has stated on Twitter. And so we do see that they are on the same page here. And we also see that Pure Vision is the future and they're not going to move back on it. And they also say how much better the cameras will work as the human eye can work. Um, one thing you all has, have to consider is we don't know yet how good this camera or Pure Vision will be when the sunlight um, is going straight against the cameras and what is happening in fog. Um, so these are like the things where you're like, okay, without a radar um, or sensor or anything, how is the camera going to uh, manage that? That's the only thing I would be interested to really see if they can manage that as well. Um, but we will have to wait for the update and first um, video or experience that are shared with us. So furthermore, I like to discuss the chip shortage we had. Um, in the first quarter, Tesla was able to achieve great results despite the chip shortage that many um, car makers had out there. And this was because Tesla planned ahead. They saw it coming and the same is happening right now. They know that this problem is not going to disappear from one day to the other. It's not going to disappear in the short run. So they are planning ahead and they're currently in negotiations with um, suppliers in Taiwan and Korea and the United States and they are trying to negotiate plans to get a guaranteed amount of um, chips furthermore guaranteeing these suppliers to pay ahead. Not paying once they receive them but paying right away. So that is the one way they can go but there is also speculation that Tesla is actually thinking about building a chip factory themselves. And there are critics about that they say well it's really hard to establish such a 
product um, the newest generation because that is what Tesla needs and furthermore ramp up such a production and facility it costs a lot of money some people say around 5 to 20 million somewhere in between so it's a lot of money so please let me know what you think do you really think that Tesla should do that should they have the entire control over this supply chain as well or should they just try to make the best contracts with those suppliers so it's a really good question so I would be really happy to see your feedback over here uh, and um, see what your opinion is about this topic furthermore we have great news from the energy business I have managed to not say too many things in the past weeks because not that much happened because there was so much else to report about but I said before I do expect that the energy business will grow more than 100% in this year it's actually the energy business year 2021 so we do know that the virtual power plants are expanding and expanding and expanding and it's going to be the future and we also know that new updates were installed on the power walls that allow the software with the energy plan and be at some point a part of the virtual power plant the fun part here is um, in the first four to five years Tesla installed around a hundred thousand um, power walls but now just one year later when they achieved this milestone they achieved already two hundred thousand so do you see what's happening here it's the same thing like with the cars there was a slow growth at the beginning and then it was accelerating that fast that no one could uh, really believe what they were seeing and as we have been talking about 250 or 100,000 cars selling for Tesla now we are looking at not only 500,000 cars like last year but we are looking at around a million cars this year so please let me know what do you think about this achievement because it's not only 200,000 it is also the possibility if they are really smart in selling those power walls and installing them at the same areas that um, they do then they have the chance to build the virtual power plant much faster as you think and it's the same thing like with the um, with the software it's the same with the self-driving and all those cars once you establish the technology all those cars could drive itself at some point and it doesn't matter if they are already on the street or they are selling today and that's the same with the power plant they can just switch a button and make it the biggest virtual power plant in the world if they wanted to so if you do enjoy my video do consider subscribing to my channel and if you like my video hit the like button and take care guys thank you very much